Have you been looking at the prices of cruises and thinking maybe you should just book that inside cabin? I'm gonna share with you the eight reasons why in 2022 and beyond, you should definitely consider inside cabins for your cruise. Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifewellcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I have a confession to make. As cruises had restarted in 2021, I didn't even look at inside cabins. And if you've been following my blog or my YouTube channel for a little while, then you'd know that in the past, uh, myself, my husband, my family, we definitely booked inside cabins. We also booked ocean view cabins and balconies because we definitely like that. But the value of an inside cabin, I think just can't be beat. But as cruises did restart, I absolutely avoided looking at inside cabins and I only really looked at balcony cabins for one reason. And of course, that reason does start with a C. And I had my nervousness about it and being quarantined uh, in my cabin. However, I now believe that is absolutely not a reason to avoid inside cabins. In this video, I'm gonna share with you why. And of course, the other reasons why booking an inside cabin could be a great idea to do right now in 2022. Now, before I get started, I did wanna mention, well, a couple of things. Firstly, this doesn't mean that you have to think the same thing. If you have a different type of cabin uh, that you like to book, that is absolutely fine. This is not advice for everyone. And secondly, if you do enjoy this video, if you find it helpful, informative, or enjoyable in any way, then please do give the video a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And of course, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Okay, let's get started. So the first reason to book an inside cabin is of course for the cost, for the savings. Now let's face it, if you go on a cruise, you will have an amazing vacation, whether you're in an inside cabin, an ocean view, a balcony, a suite, it is going to be fabulous. And on the most part, almost everything that you can do on the ship is the same no matter what cabin that you're in, with the exception of course of suites, but overall it really is the same. So other than sleeping, if this really doesn't bother you to sleep in an inside cabin, which of course is a windowless smaller cabin, then you should definitely look at an inside cabin. Now I was looking and comparing the price of a celebrity cruise, a seven day celebrity cruise on the edge. And the price difference between an inside cabin was about $900 US for a couple. We were comparing uh, an inside cabin guarantee to a balcony cabin guarantee. Now, in this case, a celebrity is all inclusive, meaning it has your beverage package, your gratuities and your Wi-Fi included. So I think this was a really good value, but the price of about $1,500 to almost $2,300 for the balcony. If you wanna go on a great cruise that almost becomes a budget cruise and you're still on Celebrity, definitely look at the inside cabin. Number two, you will get the absolute best night's sleep in an inside cabin. So when you're in an inside cabin, of course, you do not have a window. Therefore, it is going to be very, very, very dark. And if you are somebody who is sensitive to light, you are going to absolutely love this. Now I do have a little tip if you are going and cruising in an inside cabin, just so you don't sleep through your day, which some people have said um, has happened to them and you don't miss any shore excursions, maybe consider bringing an alarm clock, um, perhaps a motion sensor night light. Do some things to make sure that you do end up waking up in the morning because when you don't get any natural light, you really don't get any natural light. If you do enjoy this about an inside cabin, please let me know down in the comments below. Number three, you are less likely to get seasick in an inside cabin. Now, the reason I say this is because when you have an inside cabin, there's actually such a wide array of choices for inside cabins that are located midship. So not only are the prices of inside cabins less expensive, significantly less expensive, many times than ocean view and balcony cabins, but oftentimes you are gonna really get some of the best locations on a cruise ship to have your cabin. Number four, you can spend your money on the cruise ship or on the itinerary that you really wanna go on rather than the cabin or the room itself. Now for me, this is the absolute best reason to book an inside cabin. Several years ago, uh, my husband, my son and myself, we went on a Mediterranean cruise. I think it was 11 days and it cost somewhere around under $4,000 for the 11 days on a Royal Caribbean ship. And we were in an inside cabin, but this was a way that we were able to do this 
this cruise, we were able to spend money on excursions because they definitely were quite pricey uh, in the Mediterranean. And I didn't feel that I missed out at all in the fact that we were in an inside cabin because honestly, we had so many long days at port that we weren't really in our cabin much in any case. Now, in other cases, maybe you want to be on the Mardi Gras or you want to be on the Celebrity Apex or you want to be on Royal Caribbean's Wonder of the Seas. Maybe there's a ship that you really want to be on and it is a little bit more pricey than some other ships. This is an opportunity. You can still be on that cruise ship, have the very best cruise ship experience at the cheapest price by being in an inside cabin. Number five, you are unlikely to get quarantined in an inside cabin. Now, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, this was genuinely my sort of fear about being on a cruise ship and well during these times. However, what I've come to find out is that on most cruise ships, if you are, well, in a balcony cabin, you are likely going to be moved if you do need to be quarantined for COVID on a cruise ship. So most cruise ships do have cabins in a special location of the cruise ship, usually nearby the medical center. They may be balcony cabins, but they may be ocean view cabins. And in any case, you are unlikely to be staying in the cabin that you do book if you do need to be quarantined. So if you're booking a balcony cabin because you think if you're quarantined, you're gonna get that balcony view and you're gonna get to stay in your cabin, that is unlikely to happen. So you may as well look at the interior cabins if that was one of the big reasons. Number six, if you are a solo cruiser. Now, unfortunately on most cruise lines, if you are a solo cruiser, you are going to be still paying for double occupancy in a cabin. Now, some cruise ships do have studio cabins or other cabins that are made for single passengers. So that's definitely a good option if you can find them. But these are kind of few and far between. So if you are a solo cruiser or a single passenger, look at those inside cabins. Not only are you going to have a little bit more space because of course you're just one person in that cabin and it's made for two, but at the same time, it is a lot cheaper than if you are looking at an ocean view cabin or a balcony cabin, even if you are paying for double occupancy. Number seven, if you're only going to sleep in the cabin. So if you are somebody who's really not in your cabin much, there really is very little reason to get a balcony cabin. If you want those balcony cabin views, you will be able to get them from the top deck. You will be able to get them from the promenade deck. So that really isn't something to worry about. However, if you're not in your inside cabin much, why not save that money, enjoy the rest of the cruise ship, everything it has to offer. Some people actually say that when they book a balcony cabin, what happens is they inadvertently stay in their cabin more and they don't enjoy the ship as much as when they are in an inside cabin. Please let me know if you've ever found that to be the case. Number eight, inside cabins can be really functional and they can be really well organized. As I mentioned earlier in the video, when I cruised with my kids, when they were very young, we were able to stay in a cabin. We were four people in an inside cabin. And honestly, we never really had a lot of trouble. Of course, I did a lot of things to organize my cabin. I will leave a video at the end of this one all about how we organized our cabin on our last cruise and all of the little hacks that we used to really make the most of your cabin space. But you could do that as well. And that absolutely works in an inside cabin. You save money, you're a little bit cozy. Think of it like glamorous camping on a cruise ship. And I have a bit of a bonus. The biggest reason to cruise in an inside cabin is so that you can stretch your dollars to go a little further and cruise more often. Now, of course, for some people, they may like to cruise in a balcony cabin or a suite or in a more expensive cabin and cruise a little less often. And there's nothing wrong with that. But if you wanna be able to cruise and travel more often, a good way to do this is to book an inside cabin. Now, I'm gonna leave the video right after this one all about how we organize our cabin, whether you're in an inside cabin, a balcony cabin, ocean, view, this video will be super helpful, I know. Now, I'd love to know from you, do you book an inside cabin? Do you book a balcony cabin, an ocean view cabin maybe? Are you considering it, especially as the prices are a little bit high this year? Please let me know down in the comments below. Now, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And of course, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Bye for now and happy cruising.